Well, here we are. Um, this is uh, different than what we had planned. Um, <clears throat> you know, Alfred and I spent a lot of time yesterday getting ready for uh, streaming our, our live service. But uh, looks like that's not going to happen. So, uh, but that's okay. You know, um, I feel like that, you know, in, in a person's lifetime, God has a way of kind of interrupting life with weather. I don't know if you've noticed that or not, where it's just kind of like everything stops. And uh, all this stuff that you had to do and you, you know, you just, you know, we got to get this done and got to do this and got to do that. It's like sometimes I, I feel like God says with weather, mm, nope, you're not going to do all that. And, and maybe it helps us, you know, whereas, you know, I talk about this all the time that the, the heavens declare the glory of God. Maybe, maybe weather does too. <clears throat> and, and weather kind of, in a sense, puts us in our place and helps us to remember our place in this universe uh, versus the place where God is. You know, in the book of Job, God talks a lot about the weather and, you know, where he stores, uh, you know, the, the rain and the lightning and the hail and, and all of that. <clears throat> and it's sort of like saying, you know, do you know where that is? It's like, nope, but he does. And that, that's his, that's, that's what he controls. And so, you know, I remember two years ago, uh, almost exactly two years ago, my brother was here visiting from Canada. And I was really looking forward to him, you know, coming to church with me. And we had a big snow. And so here's my brother from Canada. He comes here and there's big snow and uh, we, we couldn't go anywhere. So, um, you know, things just happen. And, you know, I, I think I've probably told you before, you know, I remember as a kid living in Canada, you know, sometimes we would get storm stayed in town because we lived out of town and, and rode the bus into school. And there was a couple times where um, they, they couldn't come, they couldn't come get us after school. <clears throat> so we went to, to different people's homes and spent the night. And uh, man, I just thought it was the greatest thing ever. It's just like a big party. And uh, also getting stuck at church one time and just how awesome that seemed. You know, it's funny when you're a kid, your perspective is a little bit different. But um, so so we have a Sunday where we, we can't come to church. Um, we can't come to the building. Okay, well, praise God, we've, we've got this. So let me, I do want to say this. Uh, next week, we will do the, the worship service that we were planning for this week. Uh, we just have a, an extra week to plan it, so that, that'll work out good. Um, anyway, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to, we, there'll be a few songs on here. Uh, Alfred is going to do the Lord's Supper, and then I will come back and we'll do a closing prayer. Okay, so, uh, but, but here, before we do a little bit of singing, let me, let me lead us in a word of prayer. Father, you are in control of this world, you're in control of this universe, and you're in control of the weather, and we trust you with all of that, Father. You're in control of our lives, and that's, and, and sometimes, Father, a day like this reminds us that you are in control, and we're good with that. That's what we want. Our faith is in you. We trust you. So I pray, Lord, that, that our uh, families are safe, that uh, we are still encouraged, that our love for you grows every day and our love for each other grows as well. May we be light in this dark world that, that so badly needs light from you. We love you, Father. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. As the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield.
In the morning when I rise, in the morning when I rise, in the morning when I rise, give me Jesus. Give me Jesus, give me Jesus, you can have all this world, but give me Jesus, and when I am When I am alone, give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. You can have all this world, but give me Jesus. And when I come to die, oh, and when I come to die, and when I come to die, give me Jesus, give me Jesus. Give me Jesus, you can have all this world, you can have all this world, oh you can have all this world, but give me Jesus. Rushing wind blow through me with your tender breeze. Search out the depths of my heart like a fire burn through me here on my knees. Consume every dark hidden part. There is no friend to me. So, as you think about today, and you look outside and you see how it's snowing, 
and it looks really pretty and it's white and fluffy but then you also know there's a part of snow where when it's been sitting around a few days or maybe in a few weeks and it gets all black and brown and dirty and looks really disgusting and what I want you to think about is this all of us have had situations in our lives where we've we've looked at a, a, an outcome or, or a circumstance and we thought man that is just a terrible mess there's no way that's going to be fixed there's no way that's going to come clean that's going to come um, around to work out and sometimes we can do that with our lives spiritually where we look up and we say god there's just no way you will take me in or take me back I, I've blown it. I've really messed up this time. If you've ever thought that or know someone who is thinking that, hear these words are fresh from Isaiah as he's speaking on behalf of the Lord. Isaiah says, Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be as red as crimson, they shall be like wool. What God is saying is, I can fix this. And that's part of what we do when we remember communion. We remember that there was a, our God said he can fix this. And our fixing came through Jesus Christ dying on a cross for our sins. And so as we partake of communion today, I would like you to do both the bread and the wine together because I want you to remember that the body itself was broken on our behalf and then that blood was shed and it's the blood that's shed that's uh, that's rinsing away our sins but in order to get that blood it had to be broken open and so as you're going through things today and things in your life and you're wondering why some of these things may be happening just remember that um, our God is able to take all of the things that we think are n not fixable and he's able to redeem them. Let's pray. Father, we pause and give thanks for all the ways that you have shown us that things work out for those who love you and are called according to your purpose for all the ways you've taken our failures, our, our problems, and our messes, and all the ways that you've redeemed them, we give you praise and thanks. We thank you for allowing your son to die on a cross. As a father, I am beside myself at how you were able to do that. When I consider my five boys and I think about anyone trying to hurt them or harm them, that really gets me riled up and there isn't anything I wouldn't do to, to protect them. And yet you freely gave us Jesus and we killed him. We killed your son and you allowed that to happen because you loved us so much. And even when we thought that all was lost, the very thing that we messed up, you used to bring deliverance. Thank you for doing that. Pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I want to thank Alfred for uh, leading us around the Lord's table that way. And I want to thank Summer for, for putting this together. 
uh, kind of at the last minute, but I, I appreciate that. And uh, like I said, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, let me let me say this: that um, if if you if you need anything, uh, don't hesitate to call one of us. Um, I got a I got a four wheel drive truck now, and um, I'm be happy to use it. Um, drive across your lawn or something like that. Um, <laughs> whatever. But but really, if uh, if you need something, please please don't hesitate to ask. Um, I well, hope everybody's just staying home, staying safe. I'm sure they'd like for us to stay off the roads as much as possible. But uh, I hope you are encouraged at least by by what we were able to do together here, kind of. And uh, may God bless each and every one of you with His peace and love and comfort. Let me uh, close this with a word of prayer. Father, thank you that we can get together this way, even on a day when normally, you know, we, we wouldn't be able to get together, get together at all. And so we thank you for this, Father. Um, I do pray for our church. I pray, Lord, that, uh, that you are watching over us, that we are keeping in step with you. We are keeping in step with your spirit. Would you continue, Father, to fill us with your love and fill us with your spirit, and may we be useful to you everywhere we go and every person we speak to. I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, everybody. Love you. Have a good day. In the morning when I rise, in the morning when I rise, in the morning when I rise, give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. You can have all this world, but give me Jesus. And when I